Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating the differences between the Quest 2 controller and the Quest Pro controller, specifically showing things like knocking an arrow in a bow and pulling that arrow back under your chin or behind your head or to the side of your head or something like that. So watch the Quest Pro footage first, and then I'll come back and talk. Pausing it there. So, as you can see, pulling back an arrow looks and feels like it should, right? It doesn't seem like there's any delay. Maybe my clips are slightly off, but when I'm actually pulling it back in VR, there's no delay. It works exactly like I'm expecting it to. There's no weirdness with the trajectory of pulling the arrow back. There's nothing like that. All right, now let's check out the Quest 2. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to pause it here because it's difficult to illustrate the difference without telling you first. So if you noticed when I was pulling back the arrow this time, I hesitated. And that was because when I pulled back the arrow using the Quest 2 controllers, it almost snapped out of place. Like I I could tell it lost the tracking and now it's trying to estimate exactly where my hand is, but if I'm pushing it back in, there's definitely a delay in when I'm pushing my hand forward and when my brain sees the arrow moving back forward in the knock. And okay, the same goes for the end there. So on the Quest Pro, when I stuck it to the side of my head and I pulled it straight back, the arrow went straight back in the bow. Whereas on the Quest 2, as I'm pulling it back, you can see the arrow kind of turns, and now it's maybe going a little bit to the left, closer to my left eye, versus just pulling straight back. And I wasn't tilting my hands or anything. I was just pulling them straight back. And if you want to scoot it back, you can watch it again. I, my hands were not tilting the way they were in the VR side of things, where you can see the arrow moving and doing some funky things because... Now the Quest 2 can no longer see those controllers, so again, it has to sort of estimate where the controller is. Really, the rest of the demonstration is about the same. You can see on the Quest Pro, pulling the controller straight back, the arrow goes straight back, just like you would expect. On the Quest 2, it's kind of lopsided. It actually goes back and it turns a little bit, and it loses that tracking. So now you can see how the Quest Pro controllers will help you if you play a lot of games like this where you're putting your hands to the side of your head, above your head, something like that, maybe even behind your back. And the Quest Pro controllers don't lose tracking, whereas the Quest 2 controllers do.